Welcome to Le Gourmet TV. Today we're going to make our take on a curtido. And I learned this from a Salvadoran woman who made pupusas. And this sort of cabbage salad, hot, spicy, vinegary, semi-fermented went on the side. But it's really good with a whole range of dishes. So in the, uh, in the big bowl, I've got some shredded cabbage. And of course, all of the recipe amounts can be found on legourmet.tv. So to this bowl of shredded cabbage, I've got some shredded carrot and onion. And we'll just put that in. And you don't have to mix it up too much at this point, because what I'm going to do is I've got this pot of boiling water. And you just want to pour the boiling water over top. Give it a bit of a stir and then let this sit for about five minutes. Okay, so it's time to drain this and I've got the colander in the sink. So when you look around at various recipes, there's all different kinds of spicing combinations depending on where the person who made the recipe is from. I've sort of, uh, I've sort of landed on this one because it's the first one I ever had and I really like it. So, very basic. Got uh, crushed red pepper flakes, oregano, water, and white vinegar. Give that a little bit of a whisk. And I like to put this in the microwave for about a minute just to heat it up and get all of those flavors to come together. Great. So our cabbage, onion, and carrot mixture is pretty well drained. So put that back into the bowl. And then we just pour our water vinegar mixture over top. Give it a stir to mix everything together. Now you want to let this cool down and typically I put it into a sealable airtight container stick it in the fridge and, uh, and leave it overnight. Really allow those flavors to come together. And really, this is at its best two, three days from now. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for stopping by.